Hey there YouTubers, it's Monday, 7th of March, but it is still time for physics fun. So I've got a little set of chemical cells or a battery here, so these are quite beefy ones. And I've attached a wire to a little coil, a core, sorry, of soft iron. And I've got wire around it that's wrapped in Coleco, so a little bit of insulation. And I can make one circuit here, okay, and that would be normally, we call that an electromagnet. And I've got another circuit here and a bit of an air gap. And this one's connected to this um, long scale galvanometer or light beam galvanometer. And let's have a look what happens. This is Faraday did this. Um, I connect, oh, not a lot. So let's make it a different scale times one. Whoa, off the scale. So let's try and get a right scale on here. What's happening? Not a lot. Let's try it on a one. Ah, that's more like it. So you can see, as I connect the circuit, it went one way and came back. As I disconnect the circuit, it goes the other way and comes back. And what's happening is, is that as the electricity ramps up in the circuit, so here it gets stronger and stronger, this creates a magnetic field inside this electromagnet, but only when the current itself is changing. So it's, it's the idea, it's Faraday's law, it's the idea of a changing electrical um, flow creates a magnetic field here, and then that creates a magnetic field here or induces, and that induces current to flow here, but only for the time when I connect or disconnect. And you can see, obviously it depends which way it is, and I can effectively, if I do it on and off and on and off, that is effectively the same idea as when I generate electricity. So Faraday was the first guy to discover it. And we could, if we push it close together, get, see, ooh, a much stronger effect. So the closeness does make a difference. So there you go. If you like that, please subscribe.